I'm Brett from MRT Performance and this video we're going to talk about how to drift the Toyota 86 Subaru BRZ range of vehicles. One of the big things that I want to explain in the next 5-10 minutes is the difference between the uh, on-off settings with traction control, the anti-skid and the VSC Sport because depending on how you set the car up and the way the car you may have modified it can have a big impact on the ability for you to be able to carry a slide on a slippery surface such as this here at Sydney Motorsport Park when we want to do some drifting around some big donuts. And um, the big thing about the BRZ, let's call it that to make it easy, is the car's propensity to just want to oversteer. And what a lot of people don't understand that we've realised today is even when you press the off button on the uh, traction control and the anti-skid, it actually doesn't turn the stability control off 100%. It still actually does have some stability control built in which you can feel in certain circumstances where it's pulsing the front brakes to still give you good grip in the front end whilst allowing the rear of the car to step out quite dramatically. So um, stay with us, we're going to do our best to teach you as much about the car because let's be honest it is a fantastic fun car to drive. So what we're going to do first with the car in stationary mode, we're going to press the stability control button on and hold it down for over three seconds. First mode you'll see when you first press the button the traction control or TRC off light will come on which is the traction control. Then the anti-skid light will show off on the display as well. Interestingly, push it again, turns it all back on, again toggle it, hold it down and it's all off. So what we're going to do here is just do some long turns and give you a bit of an idea of how the car performs in big big arcs because in a mode like this where we're just doing say 40 kilometers an hour actually I can feel the front of the car pulsing the brakes as we become right on the limit of front end grip but if I give it a bit of throttle it'll then obviously change the way the car's attitude is but what I can do is if I want to be a little bit more vicious, I can actually do that. Obviously the car dramatically swaps ends because we break away the rear traction. The challenge is actually trying to get it to hold it as a slide. So what we can then do is obviously go a little bit faster. And as you can see, it's still just as difficult to do. Obviously on this situation what we've got is the car in with uh, Kumo semi-slicks which is probably not the best condition to try and carry a slide. <laughs> it's, it's not as easy as what I remember on my Evo 10. such a dramatic level of slip and angularity on the way the car's driving as all the lights start flashing on the dash even though I've got the traction control and the anti-skid light off. So what we're going to do now is turn that all back on again and we're going to do VSC Sport and in that mode we have traction control working because it doesn't turn the traction control off but what it does do is it changes the stability control setting and it gives us VSC sport settings. So I want to show you the difference with that again. So here we go. Now in that mode, what happens is you can feel it gets to a point where it wants to go more sideways, but the stability control lets it get to a point and it starts pulling the throttle out starts pulling the traction control or stability control on and off in the back of the car but if I want to try and be a little bit vicious and pull the clutch it actually won't let me get the car really really sideways so there you have it 
that's the difference between VSC Sport and the traction control. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the fuse out and turn absolutely everything off so we know exactly what we're doing with the car. Okay, so what we've done now is we've um, taken the dramatic step of pulling the uh, ABS fuse. I've got Len beside me, so it's a little tiny fuse, which is you can see by this picture from under the bonnet. I'll get Len to hang on it because um, we've just given it a run and <laughs> it's damn hard to drive sideways with semi-slicks in this car. But anyway, we'll just show you the difference where we now know there is absolutely no stability control working at the mo at moment at all. We've got an ABS warning light on the dash and a stability control warning light on the dash. So when we do these um, big loops to start with, we're just doing it in first gear, the car is actually sort of understeering and oversteering depending on how much water is on the track. But if I push it a little bit harder, it's that the accelerator. Once it gets over that, once it gets over that position of just too much of a slide, um, and the uh, obviously the conditions that we're in and the modifications, the car's not really set up for um, what we're trying to do. Probably would be actually a lot easier in a standard car. But there you have it. That's the difference between a BRZ with no traction control, ABS, stability control at all, um, VSC sport working, and traction control on or off or stability control on or off. And I really hope this video has helped you learn more about your Toy Baru, BRZ, GD, GD86, Scion, wherever you are in the world. And um, for today, I really um, look forward to helping you know more about your car, no matter where you are in the world. I'm Brent Middleton, on behalf of MRT Performance, thanks for watching.